God wants it's your friend once again, the Nindu woman, and I want to welcome you to our tutorials for today. Firstly, I want to thank you from my heart for watching my videos. Thank you so very much for the support. I don't take even one view for granted. I appreciate you guys so very much. And if you are new and yet to, to subscribe, please, I beg you in the name of God, just hit on that subscribe icon on your phone and subscribe and also touch the bell so that you'll be getting notifications as soon as I upload. So to the business of today, today we shall be making a princess bustier peplum dress with box pleats by the side. It's going to be very tiny, tiny pleats by the side. And then the sleeve is going to be a feathered bucket sleeve. So let's get right to work. For my class today, we shall, I shall be making use of this lace fabric. This is what I shall be using to make the top. And of course, I shall be adding my feathers to the sleeve. Let's get right to it. So let's go. I already removed one and a half inch. That is what I will be using as a zip allowance. But you can remove one, you can remove two. For me, I want to use one and a half. That is to say, at the end of the day, my zip allowance should be three. One and a half here, one and a half on the other side. That is three. Okay. Now, placing my tape on this line, I will measure the back. And our back is 16. Divided into two will give you eight. I want to add half inch seam allowance. So it's now eight and a half. I will measure her armhole. Her armhole is nine. I have to determine the midpoint, which is four and a half. And then I'm going to So this is our armhole. I'm going to measure bust point to bust point measurement, which is four. Sorry, which is eight divided into two to give you four. And I'll add half inch seam allowance. Okay, draw it down. You have to measure it all the way and draw it down. Okay, so now the next is to measure shoulder to bust measurement, which is 12. And then I'm going to have half inch seam allowance that will be taken from this up. It will now leave us at 12 and half. Okay. So now from here, from here now to here, it's supposed to be where the dart will sit. In order to determine what I measure here, I place my tape right on top of the line and measure half inch on each side. That is, I go in towards the zip allowance by half inch. I also go towards the side by half inch. And then I connect the line from here to this point. Also do the same thing. So now I'm going to measure a shoulder for the shoulder i shall be removing three and a half and for the depth of the neck she doesn't want it too deep i shall only be removing four inches and then i also measure one inch shoulder slope so now this is our back i'm going to measure our bust measurement and the bust i'm working with is 41 divided into four is 10 and quarter which is somewhere here 10 and quarter then i shall be adding two inches seam allowance here and then for our waistline, 35 divided into 4, we have 8.8. .8. Somewhere here, I shall also be adding 2 inches seam allowance. And then this 1 inch that will be taken away from this dart. So this is it. 
then I connect and then I cut it out so now I'm going to proceed to cut the front and I shall be cutting the front with this satin after which I will now transfer to my fabric first I'm measuring the shoulder which is 16 divided into 2 is 8 I mark then I measure my bust point to bust point measurement, which is 8 also. And then I add my half inch seam allowance to make it 4.5. Alright. Alright. I'm measuring now a half length. A half length is 17. But I'm going to be adding 1 inch seam allowance, half for the up and then half for the down. So I'm going to mark... 18 this is a half inch all right all right from the shoulder again i'm going to measure shoulder to bust point measurement which is 12 i will also be adding half inch seam allowance that will leave us at 12 and half all right okay now from this our shoulder to bust point measurement i'm going to measure three and a half inches this is the under bust. Also, I'm going to measure three and a half inches on top. Basically, like I always say, whatever you measure down here to form the under bust is what you should take from up here. All right, from this shoulder towards the armhole side, you measure four inches. And mark four inches. And then also here we are going to remove a one inch shoulder slant all right now i want to measure the neckline and for my neckline i would want it to be three and half okay now let me make it four inches and then the depth of my neck seven inches can you see that so now i'm going to join Draw a line to join it like this. Can you see that? Now, from these four inches I measured here, I'm going to draw a line to join this marking and then a shoulder to bust point measurement all through to the under bust. Here we go. You can see it. I'm now going to cut it out. All right. Having done this now, remember to notch. Having cut out this one, the next thing I should do, remember to notch, please. As you can see, I already notched. Having cut this one out, I will place it on another fabric, on a fresh fabric, because I want to cut the side. Remember, this is the center, the front center. I'm going to cut out the two sides now. Now, placing your fabric like this, make sure you have not less than 3 inches left on this side where you are placing the folded part. Okay, as it is now, the next thing you should do is to trace out this shape. Can you see that? And then, identify where the notch is. Can you see that? For our armhole, remember we removed 1 inch for the shoulder slant you remember that our armhole is eight all right so i'm going to join it from here okay this is our armhole now having done this you measure two and a half inches here remember like i told you this is what i prefer to use except except if the person is very busting now having measured this i'm going to draw a line from the tip of this armhole to meet this shoulder to bust measurement remember this is the shoulder to bust measurement the one at the middle so i'm going to draw a line to meet this my two and a half and then connect to the under bust and then i'll cut all right having cut this one out the next thing is to bring the center front again place it at its original exact position where you have the notches you can see it Right, we now take our actual body measurement. Placing your tape 
on the shoulder to bust measurement which is the marking at the center our bust measurement is 41 divided into 4 will give you 10 and quarter this is 10 and quarter i'm gonna add two inches seam allowance this is it our waistline is 35 divided into 4 will give you 8.75 approximately 8.8 which is somewhere here we mark i'm also going to give two inches to my allowance and then i'll connect the line and cut so this is the front of our blouse so i'm gonna place it on my material cut it out and line all of them so now i want us to cut the pipeline in four corner you see i folded my fabric into two the normal way you fold your circle dress and then i folded again into two making it four one two three four okay now the circumference of our waist is 35 divided into four is 8.8 .8. but we shall not be using that because i want it extra so i shall be adding like four to five inches more to this 35 so let's say i will add like five inches so instead of measuring 8.8 .8 here I'll measure like 13 can you see that can you see that 13 so I'm going to trace out the 13 all right okay so now the length of my peplum is eight i'm going to add one inch seam allowance making it nine so i'm going to mark it all through okay you see i didn't measure to this point even though i'm supposed to but i left it on purpose like i said it's going to be peplum and four corner in the same material so i have to measure seven inches here and that is where my marking stopped at seven inches you can see it from the folded side seven inches now here still on the folded side i will go back i will go in by one and a half inch or two inches depending on how deep i want it to be okay let's say i'm going in by one and a half inch so i have to connect this one and a half inch to this point okay you can see that so i will now cut this one out and also cut out the circumference so you can now see how it is here you have the peplum but here it is not the circle top you can see it here is circle but here is not so i'm now going to open one part and then i'm going to go in by one inch here this is to allow it to relax all right so i'm going to put this one on top of my lining and cut so now let's cut the sleeve i already cut out two separate pieces of fabrics I'm going to measure 
3.4. That is the same. How did I get this 3.4? Our bust measurement divided into 12 will give you this 3.4. Now I have to determine the midpoint here, which is here. So this 3.5 I measured here, I'll also do it down here. And then I so this is our sleeve. I will now proceed to cut it out. So our round sleeve is 10 divided into 2, it's 5. So I'm going to add 2 inches seam allowance. I will draw a line from here to meet our round sleeve. And then I will also cut it out. Okay, so... Here you have it. This is the first line. Remember I said I shall be cutting two linings for each of these fabrics. You can see this is the first one. I will still have to put the second one to cover that first one. You see it? I will still have to attach this one here and sew it and then turn it to make it look very neat. You can see all of the lace fabrics, I did it the same way. I lined it first with a line. Then I'm going to reline again the second time. This is the front of our fabric, the front of our clothes. You can see it. All of them, I lined them first before I will now line again. You can see I put my interlining. You can see. And this is my lining for the front. You can see it. I used my wooden for the material, and then for the lining, I used an interlining to give it a very strong outcome. So I'm going to proceed now to complete the whole of the lining, and then when I finish that, I'll come back. All right. As you can see, I have lined both the front and the back. So I'll now proceed. To join the front and the back like this you can see it the fabric should be facing the fabric lining should be facing the lining like this and then i'll sew it like this i'll do the same on the other hand as you can see i have joined them together can you see that so now I'll proceed to put my dart. Remember, I started the dart as you can see. The next thing I'll go off ahead and pin my zip allowance, which is one and a half inch together. After that, I will now join the front and the back together with the actual body measurement. Okay, I'm done with pinning the back together, and now the next thing is to join the front and the back together with the actual body measurement. So our bust measurement is 41 divided into two is 20. That is here. Your tape must be at the center to divide whatever you get into two. It must be at the center. So our waist measurement is 35 divided into two. You have 17 and half. 17 and half. So now I'll proceed to join here and also join here. I will sew this one, the two of them down, and then we'll talk about the down part. All right. So now we want to join the peplum down. But I want to show you something first. You can see I notched here. I notched here. This is the center. I also notched here. This is the one quarter. 
That is to say, this peplum has three notches. And we shall be making use of the three of them. First, we are going to, this is the center notch. It is going to marry this one on the center of our top. I'll pin it. I'll go and pin at the back. Do the same thing on the other side. All right. So you see all of these excesses. I'm going to print them to fall in between here. To fall by the two sides. So these excesses will fall here. This one on this side will fall here by the side. Okay, so now I'm going to print. But before that, I need to explain something. I measured 3 inches from this side and then 3 inches also. That is to say, my printing will fall under 6 inches. 3 inches on this side, 3 inches at the back side. So I want to start to print. You can see where I marked the 3 inches. See the first one. See the second one. So I'll now start to print. When I print, I will hold it with my pin. I will continue and make sure that this notch is resting at this side joint. You can see the notch. You can see it. I will make sure it is resting there. Now I'm true. I will do the same thing at the other side and then I will sew it all through. So I'm done with the stitching together of the peplum with the upper part. And this is what we have. When I give it a good press, it will now fall very well. So this is what we have. As you can see it, this is what we have. So I'm now going to proceed to put the zip. I'll just put my zip like this. I will take the one and a half inch I marked out for the zip allowance and I'll place my zip like this and sew it, then do it on the other side. So now I want to do the sleeve. Our round sleeve is 10. We fold like this, it becomes 5. That is there. And I want to print it a little here. I don't want it flat like this. I will print it a little. So I will sew from somewhere here. So that whatever that is left after the armhole has been fed, I will now print it. So the outcome is going to be like this. Okay, having marked the round sleeve, I will go ahead and, and gather here i will stitch here and bring them together i will gather here when i'm done i will now place it on top of this place and sew after that i will add my feather on top of it so you can see i have fixed the feather so i will now proceed to fix it to the top and we shall be done so finally our blouse is ready as you can see it isn't this very beautiful i'm going to place it on my body so you see it better so you can see it right now you can see the results of what we did you can see the sides I gave it a very good press. This is so very beautiful. You can see the hand, the sleeve. So thank you guys for watching for today. And please subscribe, subscribe, and also subscribe and keep subscribing. Until we meet again in our next class, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And take good care of yourself.